I created a very sim simple application for the backend and also maintain the structure for the development. So if I open in Explorer, then you see uh, there's a source, there's the application, Udemy application for developer. And here is the .NET project structure that is SRC. Inside the SRC, we have API project, uh, view in list, API project, BLL, DLL database part. And here is another folder that is test. All our, our test related project is present there. Is the source. If I go to the code, there is a some code part. Here is a controller, all type of controller in API part. And there is a weather forecast not needed. Also delete this uh, weather forecast and Docker file docker controller also not needed also delete this okay it's the basic application all the business logic is present there bll uh, course department student okay dto uh, and interface some interfaces present there that is service course service department service all the interface repositories interface and database part basically here uh, application db context is present there is a very simple application and dll part all type of repository and unit of work pattern also present there unit of work but here i also a folder that is the class library to class library i created is a basic class class library that is uh, unit of work repository i created some interfaces here i unit of work so uh, object converter gen uh, generic repository for all type of query or find uh, uh, add remove is a basic application but why i added to this uh, class library uh, not in inside the src because i uh, make this tutorial series uh, that is help uh, more helpful that uh, using these two class library in the future i will uh, make this to nuget package okay and remove this from my solution for that the purpose i created to uh, this class library outside our src folder so after if we manage uh, to uh, create package that then we use instead of this class library we use the nuget package inside our api development project so that also we can learn how to create package in artifact we, you know i have a section for the our managing our artifact or nuget package so that is a very simple application so before i run this application i need to uh, add some uh, uh, migration and need to open this application and so i create a migration so our migration is going to the is database part okay so in the terminal i also clear the skin and okay so i'm now creating migration a command line migration dot net ef migrations add initial migration then context what is our name of the context our context is present in the uh, database part that is application db context i copy paste this context then project which project is migration is uh, happened i think uh, i'm using the database application uh, edit rename copy paste project and also add the startup project hyphen hyphen startup project startup project is uh, backend api edit uh, rename copy this and paste so i click this 
so okay so i click the ls so our all our project in src folder i move the src and again run this command dot native migration Uh, migration is generated successfully if we go to database and the migration you see the two migration file is present there okay so now if i go to our database server sql server management studio I'm going to Windows Authentication, click the database and remove the DB, close the existing connection and now need to F settings the database connection name, F setting JSON that is Udemy backend application DB, DB okay so i also added the migration in uh, in the program file and here i also added the migration um, so i got a perform db migration i also added a script db migration migrate okay so here i also need to add some this migration only happen if the environment is uh, development okay so i added logic is apps dot uh, environment is production not in production if the environment is or its development development that time uh, db migration is happen there cut and paste okay so if i debug the application and if i you see my my application is started university management backend uh, if i go to database and refresh is yes. the table okay i think when i created the migration file migration that time it get the database name okay so uh, don't worry so we created a migration that is tapos db is present there and if i click the course api try it out execute you see some data also coming there okay so i think our setup is completed and is the basic minimal setup of our application okay so if i close to this and uh, clean solution again the build solution the issue is i change the app settings json but i'm not changing app settings development so i remove the development file only uh, app settings is present there okay so again i debug the application now if i click the codes execute yeah if i go to database i think now the original database file udemy backend application db is created here is a some codes related data also present there uh, yeah i also added this uh, codes related data using some seed data so i also show this where i manage the seed data so if i go to dll 
database you see course configuration inside the course course configuration i added some default value and course and not generated auto increment property so from this an application db context here apply on model creating sorry <coughs> on model creating uh, application db context here is the application connection apply config yeah this is the part apply configuration course configuration so present there that the reason some seed data also inserted in the course related table okay so this is a very minimal application and you can also get this uh, from my github repo i also share the link udemy.net application backend so now i added some code so using the uh, source tree i can stage all then some commit message uh, initial migration done so i commit okay so now it's push in the github master branch if i click the push and set the origin now push okay so if i go to the repository github is uh, basic commit done so it only push in the uh, e repo so i in the push also code in the github repo that is the branch also master now i go to the github repo you see now the comment commit is present if i click the commit you see some my work is present there and the branches put me back in the api master branch uh, pushes suppose you commit initial migration the, all those committees present there okay so basic part already i created next portion i will dig drive in the some ahead area okay bye bye